chef Mark, you're making a Chinese classic <laughs> this morning, aren't you? Yes, we are. We've got pork on the menu, five spice pork. So we've got some honey in there, some soy, some Yum. sesame, and this beautiful five spice as well. Oh yeah, that smells good. Is the classic Chinese flavour. A few veggies, and nice. that's it. It's going to be really simple. We're going to cook it all in one pot. Nice, fantastic. Beautiful. Looking forward to that. It's going to be delicious. We'll show you how to put that together very soon here in the Beko Kitchen. I'm trying to reach my full potential <laughs> in helping cook this fantastic meal we're making. Looks pretty simple, but it's it how simple. it all comes together, isn't it? It is. It is. It is very simple. We're going to marinate the pork, so we'll get lots of flavour in Yum. there. Obviously, a key factor in the recipe: don't overcook the pork. We want it cooked, but okay. don't overcook don't it. Don't overcook it. Yes. But other than that. It's really fast, it's really simple, nice. high impact flavour. Nice, and right. five spices, so it's going to be nice and flavoursome. It is. Right, so we're going to, um, we're going to make a little mix now, and we're okay. going to marinate the pork. So yes. the pork's there. Yes. So, actually, I'm going to tell you to do it. Okay, cool. So you can show everyone how easy it is. So a little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce. Yeah, so... Yes. Yeah, all the soy sauce. Yeah. Uh, sesame oil. Yep. Uh, some honey. Some honey. Do you want the whole lot or just a tablespoon? Uh, you no, know, you can put the whole, oh, yeah, whole lot of honey cool. in there. That's yeah. fine. And then we want a couple of pinches of five spice. Okay, cool. so go easy with the five spice because it is very, um, it's very strong, but it's a great so flavour. You know, pinches. Yeah, I mean generous pinches, you know, oh, and then mix it all. Pinches. Oh, yeah. Like that. A bit more than that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, just don't put the whole thing in. Oh, okay. And then. You know, give it a mix around. Always give it a taste, you know, before you put your meat in, just give it a taste and see. Is that enough? Perfect. Okay, cool. Well, you, you can taste it after and then, you, you know, then it's up to you to go, oh, we'll have a little bit more five spice or we put too much in. Okay, cool. I'll keep mixing it before I taste it, otherwise that will be not conducive to the taste test, will it? <laughs> yeah, make sure you mix it <laughs> Oh, that it bit's in. good, but the other bit on the side I haven't mixed isn't. Okay, cool. Should you give it a little, oh, it smells good. Yes, great, and it, you know it's so simple. It's just a combination of uh, of, of just you know flavoursome ingredients. All right, so give it a taste. See what, see where you're at with the five spice. You know, it, I mean, it's five spice five spice pork, so it does want to taste the five spice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know. You're cooking. You just got to uh, you just got to make Mel happy. No, true. Well, she's easy pleased. <laughs> so this <laughs> is edible. <laughs> she ain't fussy, yeah, Mel. Um, spice is quite interesting. You know that Hepa, I guess, would probably be one of the world's biggest spices, but you know what's next on the list, Mark? I got sucked into the vortex uh, of the internet the other day. Of Google. Yeah. Uh, chili. Basil. Basil? Yeah, they reckon basil's one of the really? biggest in the world, which is quite interesting. And there's one called carnation. I've never heard of that. I thought that was something you wear when you get married. <laughs> 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 anyway, what are you? Uh, what was All right, that? So, so we got some uh, garlic and ginger. So yeah. we just chop that up. Okay. Right, cool. and now you can add the pork to that. Give it a good mix around, yeah. and then you just want to marinate it. So okay. really strong flavours there. So 10, 15 minutes is fine. Yeah. And if you're only going to marinate for that amount of time, you can leave it out of the fridge. Okay, it's always good. a good idea to cook um, cook meats when they're out of the fridge, you know, so they just loosen up and they cook evenly. Nice. Okay. Good tip. Oh, that smells so good. Right. So then we've got a wok. Yeah. We're going to get it really, really hot, and then we're going to start frying this pork. So there's going to be a little bit of excess liquid in there as well. So that's going to fry. The honey's going to caramelise, and we're going to get some start getting some nice colour and flavour on that. Okay. You know, cool. but obviously, once you've marinated, but we're going to start that going now. Okay. So cool. you can so pop, start cooking. Yeah, yeah. So pop a little bit of oil in. Get the oil hot. So just pretend we've it marinated in. it. Yep, yep. Yep. Okay. Cool. And you know, even if you're uh, sort of stretched for time, you know, the, there is so much flavour in there. It's going to taste of something. So you can just cook it straight away if, if you want. You know. But it's always better to marinate and get a bit more time. I've got a question for Mark. What are the five spices and five spice? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you. I'll tell you one. Yeah. Um, cinnamon. Okay, good. It's, and four to go. Yeah, I know. Well, oh. you, you've got to do it. We've got to bounce off. I would say cumin's in there. No. Oh, okay. Mm. I give up then. <laughs> star anise. <laughs> star anise. Yes. Back to you. Um, oh. Poison sauce. No, that's not a spice. <laughs> <laughs> Coriander. Oh, yeah, okay. Fennel. Old spice. Old spice. Old spice. <laughs> oh, no, it's not aftershave. <laughs> Old spice. That's an aftershave. <laughs> oh, God, so you do know. Okay, I was just testing you. I don't know I the answer. I was seeing if you knew. I know, yeah. <laughs> I was playing the game. You're not supposed to throw it back at me. Okay. 
Oh, that smells so good. So while we cook on the pork, and you don't want to cook it too long, because you don't want to overcook it. Yeah, I mean, you know, peppers. we've got centimetre cubes there. You do want to cook the pork through, but you don't want to keep cooking it so that all the moisture is out of it and it's, um, you know, dry and rubbery. Okay, okay so, you, so you do need to cook it a little bit. So we're going to we're gonna keep cooking it until it's probably about three quarters cooked. Excellent. Take it out, cook everything else, and then we'll re-add it. And that's how, you know, that's a tip there to not overcook your pork. Okay, brilliant. So we'll give it another minute or so in there. Yeah, and then cool. I'm just, you know, just dice some uh, capsicums up there. So, you know, nice and chunky. We've got some um, monge too here, or some little sugar snap peas. These are great, you know, just cut them in half like that, nice and crispy and sweet, and a little bit of bok choy as well. So I'll get that ready, we'll take the pork out, cool. and then we'll stir fry the rest of the dish. You will see the rest of this very soon first though, it is over to Holly. Thank you very much Holly, welcome back to the Beko Kitchen. We've got the last steps to creating the sweet five spiced pork. Stir fry vegetables are what we need to add in next, because the pork <laughs> is looking pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, so we've done the pork, so it's probably about three quarters of the way cooked. You've yep. got like a nice bit of sauce in there as well, all good. those flavours going together. So the reason why we take it out is because we don't want to keep cooking the pork and make it overcooked and, and dry and rubbery. Yeah. yeah, so we take it out, it's resting a little bit, and then, so just wipe your pan out, because if you get it hot again and put more oil in, you're going to caramelise and burn that honey. Okay. So just, you can use the same pan, just wipe it out, get it yep. hot again, and then we're just going to stir fry these vegetables. Okay. So start with the capsicum. Yes. Keep Why that first? Does it take the longest? To well, cook? that's going to take the longest to cook. Okay. And but I mean, nothing's going to take too long, you know. You still want texture in it. That's okay. the whole thing about Chinese food. You want a little bit of texture in there. Okay, monge two going as well. And if you think about it, if you go, how do I know when it's cooked, or, or do I need to cook it more? Does it need to be softer? Yeah. You can eat monge two and capsicums, you know, just raw. Yes. They're really nice raw. So you know, so that should tell you you don't need to cook what them. Are you, too what, much. what are you calling those things? Monge two. Monge two. Monge two. This is this is what we call them in Europe. Okay. What do they call here in New Zealand? Is it sweet uh, peas like sugar, or something? Yeah, sugar snap peas. Ah, yeah, there you go. Nice. Monge you know, two. I like that. Yeah, it's sounds very exotic. Two. Yeah, it does sound very yeah, exotic. It's good. just a pea. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we've got our sweet peas here and we've got a capsicum in. Yep, and then we'll put a little bit of uh, bok choy in there. You know, so you can, you know, leave it chunky, cut it down, you know, whatever you want. If it's a little bit big, it's probably best to just, just cut it down. You right. know, same again, you know, the heat is just going to wilt the green part, you know, that's just going to wilt, that's really nice then. But the stem is nice and crunchy, crunchy. so, you know, yeah. so don't overcook your vegetables in a stir fry, you know. I mean, look at that, that's looking great. You know, if you wanted, you can put some more ginger and garlic in there if you want, a little bit of chilli. Um, but you don't need to because we've got so much flavour in there. Yeah, it's super fast. This has been super fast. It li literally, it, it's yeah. super fast and it's even faster if you get your mise en place ready, you know. Okay. So if you chop your ginger and your garlic, you know, you marinate in your pork. As you marinate in your pork, you're chopping all the vegetables. So okay, when you great. cook, it's just bang, 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 bang. Nice. And then go in with the pork. Yep, all that sauce and all those juices. Mm. And you just toss in, you know, get everything coated, all that flavour in there. The heat in the pan is just going to reduce that sauce down a little bit more and just glaze it. If it gets a little bit thick, or you think your vegetables are still a little bit um, hard and you want them a little bit softer, just a couple of spoons of water will right. just loosen down. You can keep cooking it, right. and then once you're ready, you want that sauce, like a nice thick sauce, and everything glazed. Okay, so the water thing's quite interesting, actually. So you're effectively steaming the vegetables rather than stir-frying them, aren't you? Well, yeah, I mean, you stir frying, but it. as soon as that liquid goes in there, yeah, you, you're creating steam, and it's just right. cooking it faster. So you can see the uh, bok choy's wilting there now. Perfect. You know, but the important thing is we've got all those colours of the vegetables. Mm, you know, overcook the vegetables, you're going to lose all those colours. And, you know, it just makes it look a lot more appetising. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Smells good too. Looks fantastic, smells fantastic. You can get the recipe easy at our website, thecafe.co.nz. Ooh, I can't wait to try this. It's going to be delicious. Right, well, we're at the end of the show where we get Mark to bring the food over and uh, we get to eat it and say nice things about it because it's always good. <laughs> How is it shaping up there, Mark? It looks absolutely fantastic. Oh. And I reckon the right amount of five spice oh. in there. Finish it with a little sesame, sesame seeds. Oh, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Something to get stuck in our teeth. Excellent. <laughs> so if you don't like it, Mike made it. <laughs>